Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I am going to be teaching you how to make, if I get it the right way around, this beauty. So grab yourself some DK, a 4mm hook and some scissors and we will get making. So many of you might have seen this cushion in some of my videos. So I just thought I might as well do a tutorial to show you how to make it. It is just two solid granny squares joined together, obviously with a cushion in the middle. And then these are just extra bits that I've added to make it look pretty. So you could add whatever you want to it. Um, what I'm gonna do today is show you how to make the granny square the solid granny square. And then next week I'll show you how to make the cherries because that's your homework, is to make two, so I'll show you the back, two solid granny squares. And you need to get yourself a cushion in a, Dunelm do them really cheap if you're in the UK. Um, I think they do them in Ikea as well, but they're only little ones. But Dunelm I would um, go to for your cushion cover. So I'm gonna show you how to make the obviously one square and the back is exactly the same as the front. And then next week, I'm gonna show you how to join them and how to do these applique cherries. So without further ado, let's get going. So to make your solid granny square, you're just gonna need some DK yarn. I'm using Robin DK, your corresponding hook, so mine's a four millimeter, some scissors and a darning needle that I don't have, but I'm sure I can find one for later. So grab your stuff and let's get making. So what we're going to do first of all, oh I've got a bit of a wobbly table, to start our solid granny square is a slip knot. Please excuse the state of my nails. I had gel nails on for my holidays and I was really bad and picked them off, which I should know better because I'm a qualified beauty therapist but it split them all. So we're going to start off by chaining four. So one, oh, two, three, and four. And we are going to slip stitch into the very first chain space here. to create a circle. Now be careful because we are going to work into the middle of this circle. But sometimes people think that this is the middle here by the knot. It is not. It is here. You can always pop a stitch counter in that middle piece there just in case you lose where the middle is. So we're going to chain one. Some people start with a chain five, but I prefer to start with a chain one. And then we're going to treble crochet into the center. So that's a US double. Of that circle that we've made. Then we're going to chain two. One, two. So this chain two is going to be our first corner. Then you want to do three treble crochets or doubles if you're in the US into that center. So one, two, and three. So if you do what I'm doing, because I am such a lazy crocheter, I'm not going to lie and I'm not ashamed. So if you crochet over this end tail, it will save you from having to sew it in. And like sewing in ends is the dullest thing ever. So once you've done those three trebles, we're going to do another corner. So we're going to chain two, one, two, 
And then we're going to do another three trebles or doubles in the US into our center. One, two, and three. So if you can see, we already have our square starting to appear. So our first treble, a corner, three trebles, a corner, three trebles, and we're gonna do another corner. So you want to chain two, one, two, and then this time, because we already have one here, we are going to treble, sorry. One. Oh no, we're not. Start again, so sorry. What we're gonna do again is three trebles. One. Two. And three, which makes the top of our square. Then this time we're gonna chain two and we're only gonna do two trebles or doubles because we're gonna connect up with this first one here. This here is just a slip stitch, um, just the chain one. So here we're gonna connect our work to make the square. So two trebles, I nearly made a triangle there. One, two. And this is what your work should look like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the top of that treble and we're gonna slip stitch into it, she says. like so, or not, oh, I'll get there in a minute, there we go, and there we have the start of our square, corner, 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 all with three trebles. Now for the next round, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Then we're going to work a treble into this space here. One, two. Now you want to shimmy that across. We're going to chain two to make another corner for the next round. And then we're going to do two trebles into that corner space. This is how you're increasing your work. So one and two. So that's chain three, treble into the corner space, chain two, and then two trebles into the corner space. Now what we're gonna do, because this is a solid granny square, we're gonna be working into the tops of these trebles from the previous round. So you want to do three trebles, so one in each of these stitches. One. two, three. So this is what your work should look like. Then we're gonna move on to this corner space here and we're gonna do two trebles into that corner space. One, 
two. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the row across. So once you've done those two in that corner space, shift your mover a little bit, because we're going to do another corner. So we're going to chain two. And then we're going to do another two trebles into this space. One. And two. So we've worked this row and now we're going to work across this row. Let me just grab some more yarn. So each time your um, square should be increasing by four. So we've done our two in this corner here and then we're going to move on to the tops of these three trebles. So one, two, three, like so. And then we're going to do two trebles into this space here. One, two. And then we're going to chain two because it's a corner. Shimmy those across and then we're going to go back into this corner space with another two trebles. I don't know what's happened to my yarn. It's gone all knotted. One. Two. So as you can see, we have a corner, one side, a corner, another side. Now we're going to bring it round here. So we're now into the tops of these. So one, two, three, and two trebles into the corner. One, Two, shimmy the mover. I do like that word, shimmy. Chain two and another two into the space here and then to finish off this round we're just going to do three trebles because we already have our chain three and our treble here which is basically the end of the round so one two three and then to finish off we're just going to slip stitch into the top and we are starting to grow our square So what we're going to do now, just double check that you have got the correct amount of stitches in each round. So it should be seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because nobody likes a wonky square. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one. You can chain three, but I prefer the chain one and then a treble. So we're going to treble into here because it is at the top of the stitch. I just think sometimes chains don't look as good as the actual stitch. I split my yarn. One treble. And then we're going to treble into the top of the next one. And then we're going to do two trebles into this corner. Why do I always have yarn problems when I'm doing videos? So as this is a corner, we're now going to shifty that over and we're going to chain two. So one, two, and then you guessed it, two trebles into that corner. Right, I'm going to have to pause this and sort my yarn out. I'm back and it's sorted. So we've done our corner, we've chained two, we've done our two trebles, now we're going to treble into the top of these stitches here. Seven. And then, you guessed it, we're going to do two trebles into the corner. Then we're going to chain two, one, two. And then two more trebles. One, two. If you are a slower crocheter, please remember you can always pause the video to catch up. I think you can adjust the speed on YouTube as well so you make it go slower. So now we've done our chain two and our two trebles, we're gonna work along the top here. So, one, two, three, four, And then we're going to do two trebles. One, two, chain two, one, two. Oh, 
this yarn is going to drive me mad. It's because I got it caught up on another piece of yarn. How on earth did that even happen? So we've done our chain two and two trebles. Into our corner. And then treble into the top of the seven trebles from the previous round. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, then we're going to treble, two trebles into our corner, one, Two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to do two trebles, one, two. Now we're going to treble until we get to here, so that's two stitches. So we need to do treble into my maths five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. four and five and then we're just going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that treble. This is what your work should be looking like. Let's just double check. So we should have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stitches in each round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yep, yeah, we're correct. So we're on to the next round. Now what I would do if it was me, because I don't particularly like my squares having a join here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slip stitch across all these stitches to get to that corner. chain one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one treble in here and then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do two trebles for my corner. One and two, and then I'm going to carry on crocheting into each of these 
trebles until I get to the next corner. It's a sunny day today and the kids are all playing outside. It's really nice to hear. So we should have 15 stitches in this round because each um, in this side of our square because each time we increase by four. And then it's a corner, so we're gonna chip um, two trebles. chain two and then two trebles and then so you need to work your square keep working until you get it to the size you want for your cushion so it makes sure in the corner you have two trebles chain two two trebles and then treble into every single stitch along here and then again in the corner two trebles, two chain, and two trebles. So that is your solid granny square. You will need to make two of these. That's two. And that is your homework for this week, um, is to make two granny squares to the size of the cushion you want. So what I would do is buy your cushion inner first, and then you can work it up to the size. So I would just do it a little bit smaller than the cushion. So when you join it together, um, it's not slopping around. Um, the cushion's not slopping around inside it because we are gonna join it with a slip stitch. So come back next week and I will teach you how to make the cherry applique and also how to join your squares. Thank you for watching, take care, happy crocheting, and I'll speak to you next week. Thank you.